Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing at the Madden cheese as always. Got another Madden 21 uh, preview video. Today I'm going over the ratings release uh, for Madden 21. I'm going to go over the top 10 teams because this uh, picture that you're looking at right here, this was also released. And a lot of major reports are coming out suggesting that this is the actual ratings release. A lot of major outlets are reporting on this particular uh, ratings uh board which i think is actually wrong and i'm going to go over that in a minute i'm going to go over both i'm going to go over the accurate one which i have i'll go over a little bit later and then i'm going to go over this one which i think is false now first of all if you look at this list it actually mirrors um the madden i want to say it was the madden 20 or the madden 19 uh the the, the actual way that they're in order uh if you look at it the eagles patriots were in the super bowl that year or in 17 so i think like i said i think this is 18 um the the falcons were in the super bowl the year before that so you can almost go down the line and see how this is almost in the incorrect order the jaguars were in the championship game you can see they're up there uh if this was in actual order it would make more sense that this is the actual list because typically when they were release these they release them in order uh from best uh and then they go all the way down to worst at the bottom so that's one indicator that this is fake another indicator is if you zoom in on this you can almost see like a black outline that somebody just kind of went over uh the old rating from a different board with with a new rating so like i said if this is the actual ratings board uh the highest overall rated team uh is an 85 which doesn't make a lot of sense this, which is a screenshot of what almost looks like ESPN or something, so you know, obviously they're not going to report falsely. This looks way more accurate, uh, although I still don't necessarily agree with some of these. I'm going to go over the ones that I don't agree with. Starting off at number one, I actually do agree that the Saints probably are the best roster in football on paper, and that's really what this is going off of. People tend to uh, say, "Well, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl last year, so they should be number one." Yeah, but if you look at the roster, and you got to remember, I mean, they won the Super Bowl last year. Super Bowl teams typically, uh, they, a lot of times they lose a lot of talented players. So they don't have necessarily the same roster that they did last year. Certain players left. They lost Kendall Fuller, you know, off the top of my head. Uh, they lost, you know, they lost some players. Uh, that's typical of every season. Every season, every offseason, teams lose players. So the Niners were in the Super Bowl last year. They lost Emmanuel Sanders to the Saints. They lost, I mean, they traded away one of their best defensive linemen. So you can't just go off of last year. But I still think, like I said, I'm saying this because I'm going to agree with the Saints being number one. I think they have the best roster. And anybody that doesn't see that, you need to go look at the Saints roster a little bit deeper. I mean, they have one of the best offensive lines. They have some of the best weaponry in the league around Drew Brees. I mean, they brought in Jason or James Winston. He's a backup. I mean, this is a team that everybody, nobody's going to argue their offense. But their defense is really set up, too. I mean, you have a, a Hall of Fame talent in Cameron Jordan, who's just a monster every year. Sheldon Rankins is great. Uh, their linebackers are solid when they brought in DeMario Davis and Kiko Alonso. Uh, they brought in Janoris Jenkins last year. I mean, they're one of the best cornerbacks tandems in the league as well. They brought in Malcolm Jenkins, who is a, a he's a little bit older, but he's still an amazing player. I mean, their roster is just absolutely loaded. They just keep choking in the playoffs, and that's the only reason that they're not getting, you know, they keep they keep shooting themselves in the foot one way or the other every year in the playoffs. That's, that's they got nothing to do with the roster rankings. That's what this is. This isn't, they're not guessing that the Saints are going to win the Super Bowl, or they're not going off of last year. They're just looking at the pure roster Roster. And I agree, the Saints have the best roster. They probably won't go anywhere this year either because that's just kind of their MO. It's choking in the playoffs. But it is what it is. They definitely have the best roster. They have depth and they have talent everywhere. Now, the Niners have a great roster too. But like I said, they lost a couple of players. You know, teams that go to the Super Bowl typically lose players. The Chiefs lost some players. They lost uh, one of their starting cornerbacks. And, you know, teams lose players in the offseason. So I don't necessarily have a problem with two and three uh, as far as, you know, the Niners and the Chiefs go because obviously they're great teams. But I think that the Ravens should be a ahead of both of them i would have the ravens at number two this is a team i mean they they were loaded last year they're loaded everywhere as well they went and had a great draft i mean they brought in more running backs they already have a great running back tandem uh, already but they went i mean they had a you know the drafting guys aren't necessarily going to mess with your your overall it's going to raise it up too much but you're bringing a guy like Kalias campbell for like a fifth round pick when you already had one of the best rosters in the league just like they did with uh with peters marcus peters last year stole him and signed him for a, a long-term contract i mean to me the ravens have the 
second best roster in the game. Uh, but that's not something I'm going to cry about too much uh, because after the season starts, they get a couple of wins. The, the EA likes to change the ratings anyway. I think by the end of the year, the Ravens to me, I don't want to call them Super Bowl favorites, but they're definitely up there. I think they could still use a receiver to go along with Hollywood Brown. But other than that, I mean, their, their roster is absolutely loaded. Uh, and then, you know, that's definitely your top four. Those are, without a doubt, your top four teams. Put them in whatever order you like. It's hard to argue, though. It's whatever. Like, I'm not going to get mad about that. If there's any issues that I do have, I would say there's a team or two missing. And one of those teams would probably be the Patriots. I know Tom Brady's gone. So I guess their entire team is going to be terrible this year. But when you bring in Cam Newton to replace Tom Brady, I actually think he's a better fit because Tom Brady needs weapons around him, and they just weren't giving him those weapons. I mean, they have some players there. They have, um, you know, James White's still there. Still have a good running back tandem with him and uh, with Sony Michelle. You still have, um, I mean, they brought in uh, a receiver from the Falcons last year uh, a little bit late in the year. just didn't seem to help out. I mean, they did have a first-round pick a receiver last year. Um, so they do have some talented guys. Julian Edelman is still there, obviously. Um, so there's still some talent on that roster as far as receivers. But Cam Newton can do more with his legs to the point where he might be a better fit in that offense right now. But that aside, like I said, I don't know what they're going to rate Cam Newton. Uh, but the important side of that is their defense is still one of the best in the league. So to me, their defense alone should have them uh, in on this list. Now, I don't know who I would take out. And then you got a team like the Titans who were in the AFC Championship game last year. And I know they're another team who lost some players. They lost one of their offensive tackles, which is a big part in why the run game was so dominant. Uh, and they lost, you know, they lost some players. It is what it is. But when you have a team that was in the AFC Championship game, and, you know, I mean, I still think that they have the majority of the things that they had to get there last year. Uh, not having the Titans on this list is a bit of a head scratcher as well. Those are probably my biggest ones. Uh, but like I said, none of them really bother me too much. The Bills are another team. I mean, that's a team. Their defense is one of the best in the league. Uh, you can make a case for them. Uh, but I think all these teams are probably just outside of it, so I'm not really going to complain. So overall, I definitely think that this uh, this list is pretty on par, uh, with the exception of, like I said, I changed a few of the order at the top ones. I think the Ravens are probably the best roster in the AFC. Uh, so that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button, and I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out.